now we want to pause a little bit and uh, work on a problem so that we can appreciate better on, on the three properties of information overload we just talked about. On the slides, you're given a table that describe the percentage of college graduates and average household income of uh, each state in the United States. Based on this data sets, you'll be given four questions in sequence. And for each question, you'll be asked to speculate on three aspects of the data quality issues. One is, is the data relevant? That means, can the data be potentially answer the question that you have? Second is, is the data processed in the right format? And the third question about whether the data is presented in the right format. OK, now I would like to ask you to uh, move your cursor over the middle area to see the first question. The first question basically asks, which city has the highest percentage of college graduate? To answer this question, you have to think about whether you could directly use the data to derive your answer. OK, now I want to give you about 10 to 20 seconds and ask you to think about the three aspects. And I would like you to come up with your opinion and put it into the, the worksheets. And you're going to need to submit this uh, after this class. You work on it. I'll be back in a moment. OK, I hope you have given a thought on this question already. Uh, let me present my version of the analysis so you can compare with yours. Basically, the question asks, well, which city has the highest percentage of uh, college graduates? Uh, the data seems to be relevant, right? Would you think so? But if you think further, is is not directly usable to answer your question because the data is not aggregated by city. Instead, the, the data about the college graduates was aggregated by states. You may argue that Washington, D.C. is both a city and a state. You could say, OK, let me just pick up Washington, D.C. But that's not the point. Okay? The point is that the data seem to be relevant, but is not processed in the right format. And then we look at the presentation aspect. Okay, can I figure out the highest if I have the right data? Okay. The current presentation is listed by alphabetical order by states. If you want to think about what would be the better way to present. It would be nice if you can present the data in the order of the percentage of college graduates from high to low, okay, so that you can immediately pick up the top. Okay. Uh, this is not what it was done. So my analysis is that the data set is potentially relevant. However, it was not aggregated, it was not processed in a proper way, and it's not presented in a proper way. Now let's look at the second question. The question asks, are there any regions that show relatively low percentage of college graduates? OK, if you look at the data, it seems that you could answer this question. Is the data processed in the right way? Well, sort of. In the first sense, the data was aggregated by states, which meet the requirement for contents in order to answer the question. However, it's still hard to use that data to answer that question directly for several reasons. First, the question asks not only about the low of the percentage of college graduate, 
It also asks additional knowledge about geography. In this case, we talk about region. So, what do you mean by region here? So, region should not be just one state.、Uh, usually, it's a cluster of states that maybe together show relatively high or relatively low percentage of college graduates. If you find that pattern, you probably can report back. However, because we are missing proper way to present this data, and we're missing proper geographical context, you know, it will be very hard to answer this question only based on the table. So this is exactly the problem we're going to deal with in with analytics. So think about how can we present the data in a way. The answer becomes very obvious. Let's look at the question three. Move your cursor to the middle and read the question three. The question three basically asks you, how does Pennsylvania compare with the rest of the states in terms of the college graduates? The question asks you to compare Pennsylvania with other states. Okay, so how do we compare? We could say Pennsylvania is on the top, or in the middle range, or in the lower range, or somewhere is kind of very different from other states. Okay, this is the kind of answer we want to derive. However, how can we read that the data table to answer this question? It remains pretty hard. Again, this is a problem of presentation. Is is not a problem of relevance. Is not a problem for processing, okay. But mainly, it's about presenting data in the right、uh, format so that people can pick up the answer.、Okay? In this class, we're going to introduce some of the methods that allows us to answer this kind of question very quickly, okay, without reading the table.